What's up, my people, and welcome to the SN95 Power Channel. Today, we're going to talk about painting your car yourself, DIY paint jobs, garage paint jobs, whatever you want to call it. But let's talk about um, well, really my experience. And if um, you've done it yourself, maybe you can hop on the comments and um, tell us your experience. But about a year ago, or last winter, basically, I um, repainted my car, and these are three of the four tools that I use to paint my car. I use um, three Harbor Freight guns. Uh, these are two Spectrum guns. I believe both of these are. Let me see. This is a 1.7 tip, which I think I have the tips mixed up on these two. I think the high volume, low pressure one is a 1.3 and the HTE was the 1.7. But anyway, these are both $139 guns at Harbor Freight. And the first gun I started off with was the, the purple Harbor Freight gun that it's like 20 bucks. So I tried the $20 gun the spray pattern was, you know, this wasn't anything that I could work with at my experience level. So I tried the, I guess the next higher up in quality which would be the Spectrum guns. And moving from the purple gun to the Spectrum guns, I thought it was a huge difference. And I actually laid down some base coat and um, I think I even tried some clear with these two guns. And I didn't really like the way the um, clear came out. It's a, a lot of orange peel, but that could have been because of um, the temperature in the garage. You know, this was <laughs> around the polar vortex time up here in the uh, Midwest and really had a hard time keeping my um, temperature in my garage up so I'm pretty sure that had a lot to do with it but going from the Spectrum guns to this um, Master Pro gun this is a Master Pro 44 series was a, a huge difference um, between the two spray patterns like I never thought I had a real good spray pattern with these two guns, but with this uh, Master Pro, I felt that it was a pretty good spray pattern now. Before I painted the car, I pretty much did a lot of research, reading articles, lots of YouTube videos, and I decided to do it myself. And the reason why I decided to do it myself is because I had the money to, you know, pay someone to do a paint job but you know I'm really into you know doing everything on my car myself I built my motor I built my trans um, suspension pretty much everything on this car that I have has been done in my garage by my own hand so I want to give this painting a try and I figured that I would paint it myself first and if it was garbage then I had the money set aside to pay somebody to paint it so that's why I tried it and you know if you're in that same, same situation I would encourage you to try it you know the um, base coat <laughs> that I got there's some PP, PPG Omni that somebody mixed for me off of um, eBay the clear coat that I use is um, Tamco Euroclear and so I didn't really spend a lot of money on materials. And like I said, these guns, these are the Harbor Freight ones are $139. And then, you know, if you use the super coupon, it's like 20% off. This um, Amazon one was $139. So material wise, you know, I didn't like spend like $1,000 in material. I um, kept cost relatively down. And so one thing that I didn't have um, last year was uh, this cup. Now I just used the basic cup that came with the spray guns and the problem is as long as you're spraying and don't you know tilt the cup a certain way where the the feed of the paint or the clear that you're using is kind of um, it just doesn't flow. Now with this it has this liner that collapses 
as it pulls the um, paint through the gun. So pretty much any angle that you point your gun, you're gonna have a good flow of um, whatever you have in the cup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up these, um, I don't have all the pieces for this gun right now. So I'm gonna use this uh, HTE and this uh, Master Pro to show you guys um, a couple of spray patterns between the two guns. Um, I'm just going to be using some spray gun cleaner to um, flow through these guns so this isn't any paint or any um, clear but it'll still give you a good idea of how these two guns um, the spray patterns are different and I've really been looking online where before I bought this I was looking online and even before I made this video on some kind of review showing the spray pattern or any kind of video on this uh, Master Pro 44 spray gun and I wasn't able to find any information in regards to it so the only way I found out about it was this um, top 10 spray guns of um, 2019 video that I saw and it just basically showed a clip of um, the Amazon picture so no um, in-depth review and this isn't going to be an in-depth review because I really don't have the knowledge to tell you much about these spray guns. The only thing I do is just set up the um, the the air and the feed as best as I can just to kind of show you the spray pattern. So that's what we're going to get into now and then I'll um, throw up some pictures of me um, painting my own car in um, I think I was like in 2019, the winter of 2019. So towards the end of the video I'll throw some pictures up of that and um, I hope some of you guys will comment and give me your opinions on um, your DIY paint jobs if you've done one or if you're contemplating doing one or even just give me some feedback on these guns what you think if you've used any of these three or even the purple Harbor Freight cheap gun that I don't have here I end up like chucking that in the garbage but if you've had success using that gun um, you know leave a comment let me know maybe my settings was off and also I'm just using a hundred 20 volt air compressor from Harbor Freight. It's like a um, 30 gallon. I think it's like 5.5 CFM at 90 PSI. I'm pretty sure that's like limiting these guns or maybe it's not, I don't know. So leave a comment. Like I say, I'm a novice when it comes to this stuff. And so I um, was really excited when I got a chance to do this. And I think if, if you're contemplating doing this, I think you should really give it a try. All right, this is my little test piece. And up first, we're gonna go with the Master Pro. I have this set at 30 PSI. Now this is probably the nicest spray pattern that I could achieve with this one. Um, as far as the airflow and the fan settings, I couldn't tell you how far out I have them. I just kind of um, played around with them a little bit until I got the spray pattern. So hopefully um, some of the more experienced painters, if you're on here, hopefully John Coates will see this video. And by the way, check out this guy's SN95. He's got the best SN95 on the planet, in my opinion. And um, he sprayed that car himself uh, for restoration. I know um, he's got a YouTube channel, but he's gonna start throwing more content on his page. You can check out his links right here. But um, if you're a professional painter, if you have experience garage painting, I know Tony Oliver is another guy who's got plenty of experience with bad garage built paint jobs. Um, hopefully somebody can chime in and give me an opinion on this um, spray pattern. Like I said, this is a, a 1.3 tip. This is just um, some spray, um, spray gun cleaner. And um, like I said, it's like 30 PSI. So from my opinion, this is um, a pretty good spray pattern, but I'm a novice, so hopefully I'll get some comments from you guys and tell me what you think. Again, this is the Master Pro 044 or 44. 
This is something I got off of Amazon. And so here is the Harbor Freight Spectrum. This is set at 30 PSI. And um, this is really, honestly, the best spray pattern I could get on it. It's like a dog bone shape almost. And I've played around with these, um, the fan setting. You know, this is the fan. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I've played around with the fan setting. This is the fan all the way out. And if I turn in a full turn, if I turn another quarter. All right, sorry about that. The press clicked on, so, you know, I was pretty much playing around with the fan. And it still kind of has that dog bone shape. If I come out on the trigger, maybe a quarter from where I'm at. I don't know. I mean, no matter how I played around with this, this is kind of the best pattern that I could get. I'm coming out a little bit more on the um, the trigger. And it's um pretty consistent. I'm running low on this um, aerosol cleaner. But I actually think um, this is, again, a 1.3 tip on this one. And, uh oh, man. It's late at night. People blowing me up. No, I'm so sorry about that. All right. So, like I was saying, pretty much the same tip. Um, this is a HTE. I have a, um, a high volume, low pressure spectrum, and this HTE one, and pretty much both of them have the same spray pattern. They kind of have that dog bone shape, whereas the um, Master Pro, it's not quite that deflated football shape, but the spray pattern, in my opinion, is better than this um, spectrum. Both of them are same price. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm not a professional at this. I've never really had many experiences outside of the three Harbor Freight guns and the one Amazon gun. So hopefully, you know, you guys can give me some feedback on what you think between the uh, two guns that I showed you today. And speaking of me being a novice and my experience paying, um, when I get out of here, I'm going to show you some photos of my um, progress of me painting my own car. So appreciate your time. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, good news for me is I did receive my tracking number for my Circle D torque converter. So we'll be um, getting a video on that pretty soon whenever that comes. And um, what else? You got to drop the transmission, do the intermediate clutches. And I'm also re painting some panels on my car also so I'll um, get some videos of me doing that and hopefully you guys will follow along so thank you for your time and God bless